Hey, Moving Keepers. In this video, I want to show you how to set up Firebase so that you can use it in your Moving Cube app uh, in order to send push notifications, in a messaging, and some other things. Okay, so, well, I have this app here. Um, this is a very simple app. So if you go to the tool sections, you will see here a uh, Firebase push and analytics. You have to activate it, then click on go. Okay, and if you see here, uh, Moving Cube is asking for some files. Okay, for let's focus on Android for now. Okay, uh, iOS is basically the same. Uh, for Android, he Moving Cube is asking for this file, Google Services JSON. Okay, and a server key. Okay, so now we have to go to Firebase to our Google account. Okay, I'm not sure if you know, but Firebase is a free service from Google and they gather some server tools like SMS, uh, not, not SMS, but authentication, uh, analytics, um, um, push notifications, and a lot of other things. Okay, but today we're going to focus on creating the project and getting this file and the server key and start configuring some push notifications. Okay, maybe in a messaging too. Okay, so you have to go to uh, firebase.com, okay? And, and then if you don't have a Google account, you, sh you should create one, but I guess all of you have a, already have a, a, a Google account. Okay, so uh, after you go to firebase.com, then you will have to click on go to console, something like that, or login, okay? And then you will see this screen where you have all your projects, okay? So you have to create your first project, click on add project and then enter a name. Okay. So enter a name, my first project, for example, then click on continue. And now you have to answer this question. If you want Google analytics in your project, okay, you can disable this switch or enable it. Okay. Depending on the privacy thing that you want for your app. Okay, if you enable Google Analytics, you have to make sure that you put some privacy policies in your app. Okay, but by default on Moving Cube, that's easy to do. Okay, click on continue. And then, well, you have to select an account, a Google Analytics account. If you don't have any, then you will create, you will click on create a new account. Okay, but I have this one, so let's continue. So this is going to take some 30 seconds or one minute. Okay, now Google is creating the, the project on Google Cloud Platform. Okay. So let's wait. The thing is that Firebase uses a Google Cloud pl Platform. Okay, uh, so for activating some of the services of, of Firebase, we will need to go to Google Cloud Platform and activate it. Okay, the API, and uh, especially for the in-app messaging. Okay, now we have our project here. And next step is creating one app inside the project. Okay, so we are going to start with Android. You can select also iOS. So if you click here on Android, you will have to enter the package name. Okay, so for getting the package name, we have to go back to Android. And here we have the package name in the same screen where you set up Firebase. So put it here and then add a name. My app's name is Custod.io. Okay, and you can leave this blank. Then click on register app. So we are in the second step and here's where we can download the Google services JSON file. So click on download. Now we can go to Moving Cube and then click on Upload File. Select the file and it will start uploading to Moving Cube. So next thing we need is this server key thing. Okay, let's go to Firebase again. Click here on Next. Uh, you should ignore the third step, okay, because the Firebase SDK is inside the Moving Cube app. So click on Next. 
and you can you, you should also skip this step okay now firebase is waiting for the app to connect okay but since we are not going to connect now first we have to publish the app on modern cube then skip this step for now so we have now the file what now we need the server key you have to go to this um, icon here and click on project settings and for getting the the server key for for push notifications we need to go to the second option cloud messaging and here you have the server key well you can click on, on this icon to copy on the clipboard and, and then go back to moving cube and enter the server key here in this field and click on accept so now we're ready um firebase our firebase account is configured on moving cube so we're ready to go with push notification and the final step is to make sure that uh, all the apis are activated on google okay normally uh, the cloud messaging api is will be enabled okay that's the one that we uh, we will need for sending push notifications um, but there are some other function on fun functions on on firebase that need to be activated okay for example the one for in-app messaging so let's open a new tab and um, you can just type google api uh, console or maybe just google apis and there's this website called console.developers.google.com so go to it then click on this button on the top enable apis and services okay and here you can just type message or me yeah here then we have the cloud messaging and the Firebase in-app messaging and the Firebase cloud messaging app. So first you should go to this one and make sure that it's enabled, which should be. Yeah, it says API enabled. So go back. And if you want to send in-app messaging, those are these pop-ups that will come in your app when people are, are using the app. So click on Firebase in-app messaging and this one is not enabled by default. So click on enable. And that's it. Now we can also use uh, in-app messaging in our apps. Uh, well, I, I said Firebase is a free service, um, but of course it depends on the volume. For the majority of apps of Moving Cube, um, Firebase will be free, uh, especially if you are sending pu only push notifications and using Google Analytics. In that case, it's going to be free forever, I think. Uh, but for some other services, if you use databases and some others, you might need to upgrade. Um, but by default, with the Spark um, plan, which is free, you will have all the push notifications included. So only if you're using some others, then you will need to upgrade. And I think it's $25 a month, but that's only for like quite big apps. So you shouldn't worry about that. So yeah, I think that's all we need to do to, to configure um, Firebase on our Mobbing Cube app and start using post notifications or in a messaging notifications. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you enjoyed it. So um, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. So next tutorial, you will be notified by, by YouTube. So see you in the next one. Bye.